Now that you've created your free Rapid Client Portal accounts, I'm going to show you two different ways that you can start accepting payments right away. Both of these options do not require any code whatsoever. So they are out of the box solutions that you can start using once you have activated your Client Portal account. So first let's navigate to collect. And on this screen, you can see this button request payment on the top right hand corner. So from here, you can see the different payment method types. So for today's demo, I'll select card and I'm gonna allow payment with FX. So I am the United States. So I would like my payment to come arrive as US dollars. And I am going to collect a payment from my distributor in Australia. So you can see the FX amount right there. So again, Australia is the country that I'm requesting the payment from. I'm going to request $1,500. And you can see the FX is calculated right away. We'll give this distributor seven days to complete the payment. And for my records, I am going to add a reference ID and then add an expiration date. So when I select create, this is basically generating a unique URL. So I can copy this URL and I'm gonna paste it up here in my browser. And you could paste this URL to an email or WhatsApp message or whatever communication tool that you use with your customers and business partners and distributors. So this is what that payment URL will look like. You can see the requested amount and the payment total in Australian dollars. So I'll go ahead and place, and if there's other options for different payment methods um, that my distributor could use, they could select that. I'm gonna go ahead and select Bank of Melbourne, place my order, and this is going to redirect me to my bank's website. So this is a very secure way to complete a payment. And it will, my bank will basically step me through all of the various pieces of information that I would need to complete this payment. The next way that you can accept payments using the Rapid Client Portal without any code whatsoever is our virtual terminal. So under more actions, go ahead and select virtual terminal. So this is a really nice option for taking orders over the phone or if you don't do a lot of transactions and you had a storefront, you could actually use this virtual terminal for customers visiting your shop. Uh, let's go ahead and step through the demo. Um, so I'm in the United States. I'm accepting a Visa card over the phone for $500. So no FX is necessary because I'm also in the United States. And I'm gonna just enter a fake card number just to show you what is needed. CVV, which is the code on the back of the card, expiration date. And on this next screen, you can see that if I do have a returning customer, I could go ahead and search for that returning customer. Or if this is a new customer, I can go ahead and enter them into my client portal database. So if they, if I do believe that they'll be making future payments, I could add them right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this demo. And let's go ahead and take a look at the transaction. So here we go. Here's from our bank redirect payment from our Australian distributor. So obviously this is, you know, it's active. It has not been completed, but you can see the requested amount, the payment method type, 
and the reference ID and all the various pieces of information.